Oh, it's Petra Predictions. Nine out of the 24 African nations in the last AFCON earlier this year have changed their managers and four of these nations are within pot one within this World Cup qualifier. So it'll be very interesting to see how their new managers adapt their new team, especially against these June qualifiers as they will be up against pot two and pot three teams. First big match this month, Egypt versus Burkina Faso. I see this being a draw actually. Both nations have changed their managers I feel like there's not enough time for either team to assess the opposition style of play and yes Egypt does have that home advantage but I I don't think that'll be that significant this time round. And in Hassan, yes, they have an Egyptian, which is great to see a native coach. But if you look at his track record, then it's not that convincing his statistics as a manager. Senegal versus Dr. Congo. I see Senegal winning. Yes, their AFCON wasn't that good, but it's qualifiers. Dr. Congo struggle for goals as it is. I It won't be an easy win, but it's a standard win. Nigeria versus South Africa. I think this will actually be a great tactical game. I see it being a draw. It happened in the semi-final of the AFCON 2 until penalties and South Africa really showed their worth and I think that was such a significant AFCON for them and they'll build on from it and frustrate Nigeria. Cameroon versus Cabo Verde. I actually see this being a draw. Cameroon has a new manager unsure how he's going to be playing and Cameroon don't look good going forward I don't they don't really have excellent forward players right now and Cabo Verde they are a disciplined team they can take their chances well on the counter Angola versus Cameroon I think Angola will win this tie they've proven to be a clinical pacey going forward and just use their chances really well and is that type of team that doesn't even need possession and just utilize good football and they've proven this in the last AFCON and under their manager they really have been growing as a team and I see positive things from this team under this management and for Cameroon again not really sure how their forwards are it'll be it's interesting to see how the new manager does in that but and yes Angola is a pot three team Team, and I've been mentioning the pot one and pot two teams but I do think these June fixtures will have a massive impact on this group and I do think Cameroon, Cabo Verde and Angola all have a very good chance of reaching that direct qualification for the World Cup. Morocco versus Zambia. I see Morocco winning this tie pretty comfortably. Both nations had underwhelming AFCON campaigns this year so it'll be interesting in that respect but Morocco is just a far better team on pace and tactically and they will just get clicking for the World Cup qualifiers and want to continue being at World Cups consecutively. Cote d'Ivoire versus Gabon. I think Cote d'Ivoire will win this game. I think it'll still be a close game but I think Cote d'Ivoire will just be on good form since their AFCON win and just continue this throughout the World Cup qualifiers. Algeria versus Guinea. I see Algeria winning this tie. Not a thrashing but a routine win. Yes they have a new manager and sure that's going to pan out but it is World Cup qualifiers and they will have their point to prove and I think they will really crank it up for the qualifiers and Guinea has shown to be inconsistent I don't think they'll be a real threat to Algeria this World Cup qualifiers. Tunisia versus Equatorial Guinea usually this game goes either way either team winning but I actually see this fixture being a draw Tunisia look bad going forward they don't create enough chances and Equatorial Guinea usually play better as the team on the counter-attack as they're pretty clinical it's when they're expected to have possession they don't look as good and Tunisia has a new manager so that will be interesting to see how they set up and finally Mali versus Ghana for what is the closest fixture on paper I see Mali winning this fixture actually there's not enough time time for the new manager to really make an impact for Ghana in this game I think I think it's still really just testing and Mali will just be more in flow be clicking better so there you have my predictions of the FIFA World Cup qualifiers within Africa of match day three and four do you agree with me do you disagree with me let me know your comments in the comment section below and as always thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video